an industry. Uh, yeah, I know. It's, it's really terrible. But I need to get a. Uh, before you can engage in. Before you can start talking to other nations, you need to build a um, diplomatic ministry. And I, I can't do that. I don't have enough money. And my, my people aren't quite educated enough. There we go. I can start. It's building up the high school now. I'm also exporting in a teacher from another country. So once I get this high school up, uh, my people are going to start getting education. And we can start moving up the tiers and start building new buildings. And so on and so forth. So just so you know, here's the USA battleship circling our island. I've never actually been invaded. I've never seen um, excuse me, a foreign power try and invade me. So um, I'm hoping they'll do no such thing. But, you know, stranger things have happened. So, we got plenty of guests coming in. Staying at our, uh, hotels and checking out our beach sites. And this will help us gain a little bit of, uh, extra income. So, I'm gonna keep all tourism down here. Here we go. I don't want an apartment block. I need a, uh... I need to um, get some diplomatic negotiations uh, going on here. I'm talking with the USSR because um, I don't want uh, to be invaded. Fortunately, my happiness has gone up. We've gone up to with, from 39 to 42. And when, when you're above 40, generally people will be uh, demanding elections from you. Here come some more tourists. Might need another motel soon. Where's the, uh... Oh, jeez. My motel is already full with old people. <laughs> All my guests are old people. I wonder if I can make the president uh, uh, go to the beach site, visit the tourists. Uh oh. Oh, we've got a situation here. Let's listen to Juanito. the one to always bring the bad news, but apparently some subversive elements on the island are doing everything to sabotage our thriving tourist industry. The latest trend is abduction of tourists. My advice to our foreign guests is simple. Stay at your nice air-conditioned hotel rooms and don't wander off too far without a handy sidearm. Alright, so anyway, two foreign tourists have been abducted and held hostage. They've already lo lost tourism rating because of the incident. A ransom of $4,000 has been demanded. What is our response? Send in the army to free the hostages. A chance 100% and gain respect with the militarists. Don't negotiate with terrorists. Who drew off in tourism? No, we're gonna send in the, we're sending in the army. And we've dealt with a hostage negotiation. Apparently it was a US agent who tried to uh, capture these guys. The goddamn Yankee bastards coming to my island and holding my tourists hostage? What is wrong with you? Fortunately, the highly trained and um, merciless and intelligent soldiers of Tropico, all two of them, have been able to uh, defuse the situation. And uh, it looks like my, uh, tourism has actually, um, it, it's keeping me afloat, I gotta say. It's, it's keeping me afloat. If, if only by a little bit. It's, it's helping me break even. Oh. A general wishing to remain anonymous has voiced his concern that the men who put their lives at risk for our nation are not receiving adequate pay. In his opinion, the low salaries indicate that military men are not as respected as they should be. There we go. Uh, we, apparently we're going to need to uh, build an army base sooner or later. There's all these different elements in Tropico that all come together. And uh, kind of create this sort Our of... Our small island has reached a grand number of 100 people. Ooh. Our community is growing by the minute. See, uh, there's all these different elements in Tropico that... You have to 
constantly bounce in the mall and play this big uh, juggling act in order to to be able to uh, succeed in this game. There we go. I got finally I got the uh, high school is up. Let's get a, a police station up. Apparently, uh, crime is quite high in, in both parts of the of the area, but especially high near the beach. So I'm gonna I'm gonna place my uh, building a new police station. Oh wait, oh I probably shouldn't have actually built that. I I probably should have built another motel so we can get more tourists. But I guess um, uh, police will be a police station will be will be nice for now. Keep people uh, relatively happy. There we go. We abandon tenements pretty quickly. We have plenty of uh, apartment blocks to keep our people housed. So, oh jeez, I keep going into the national debt. I keep uh, buying stuff I shouldn't buy. Oh jeez. We still got the uh Oh fuck. <laughs> Here comes the elections. People have spoken and Tropic Tropicans await elections next year and their wish is that you can show their everlasting love. Uh they may have used different words, but that does not matter. What matters is uh I've got it I've got <laughs> Stalin's gotta play the field and try and win this election. But apparently polls put me in at twenty six votes. And my competitor has 61, 61. So I gotta make a speech. So Stalin's gonna make it, make a speech. And uh, what should I address? I think uh, religion is is always a is always a big issue for some reason. Uh, praise the spirit of um I don't know communists. Cause communists are cool. Wait. Oh, it, it tells me how much, uh... I have no respect with the in with the intellectuals. I should help, I should praise them, make them happy. And, uh, I'll promise, uh, some churches. I've kind of been, uh, neglecting my churches. Oh, wow! My dear comrades, the importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. There are long lines in front of confessionals. We shall not deny that. However, the reasons are as clear as day. We all know that the environmentalists are to blame for all this. Through my years of presidency, 